Hey guys, Amit here for Phone Radar and in this video, I am going to do the camera review of the Xiaomi's E4K action camera, the one which I had unboxed in the last week and have been using it from a week's time. The camera is powered with a 12 megapixel Sony IMX377 sensor and it comes with a micro SD slot and a 155 degree wide angle lens which is supported with a dual microphone, a 6 axis gyroscope for EIS and it comes with a 2.19 inches display. And as you can see here it also comes with a bunch of different options like different modes and you can notice here that we can tap onto the screen and make the changes onto the same. Again you have the option to reduce the resolution from 12 megapixel and go down while you also have the option to change the or enable the Wi-Fi or disable the Wi-Fi and also uh, change the screen orientation and apart from that you also have different multiple options and while you can also preview the feed, uh, video which you have recorded directly onto this camera it's screen itself. Let's take a look at the camera samples and uh, let's take a deep through through the content which I have recorded with the same. Hi there so this part of the video has been recorded with the e4k camera and uh, the audio also is from the same again i'll be doing the detailed camera review showing you all the different camera modes the time lapse the 4k video recording options and all the settings which we get on this camera but as of now this clip is just to show you and demo on how it looks and again i can also get a live preview of this on my phone itself as you can see here again i have installed the e-camera apps uh, application on the phone and i get a real uh, time preview of uh, how the phone looks because the rear camera uh, the display also works but at the same time also get a preview of the same on my camera so let me know how do you think uh, is the audio in the comment section below and here are a few slow-mo videos while this specifically is uh, speeding up up to 200 percent which is like double the speed it came out to be very good and it's recorded in 4k while this is a 50% zoomed in slow motion and this is a regular slow motion video. Overall the slow motions are not that great. Uh, so guys, I have just uh, completed this quick uh, workout and I wanted to show you the quality of this camera and uh, let's start moving around and see if uh, it's actually stabilized or not because it's selling as an uh, action camera. So let's uh, see how really uh, good is the action camera. So let's uh, do a quick uh, little run and uh, see if it's really stabilized or not. So I'm just running around and uh, holding the camera. Uh, let me know what do you think about the stabilization again there is also an electronic stabilization option but uh, that's not enabled for some reason probably it's available not for the 1080p resolution but yeah that's about it this was a quick demo of the stabilization part on this camera while when you talk about the camera quality like the pictures they come out to be very good and that's something which I like But again what I personally feel that is that the phone uh, the camera doesn't have an option to tap to focus or as you can see it's not actually focusing in the central area of this specific tree and that's something which I don't personally prefer. Here are more footages and uh, here is a footage which has been taken in completely low light. This is how the video looks in uh, completely dark or I would say a decently lit light. Uh, again uh, just to give you an idea, I don't think the camera do is doing a fair job in the low light 
uh, environment at least I'm completely below the light right now and uh, this is how it looks so overall I would give this camera a rating of 3 out of 5 but again uh, that's because primarily it's pricing of $189 and the link is given in the description area in case you would like to buy this camera and apart from that uh, it's pretty good considering that if you would like to capture a lot of photos and uh, time lapses and videos in daylight and artificial light it's not that great when you want to capture in low light. So this was a quick review of the E4K action camera from Xiaomi. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share subscribe to Formula for more videos like this. I'm Amit and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.